Hey guys, welcome back. Really happy to see you here on day three of our series of free tutorials for the foreign exchange market. And I'm super excited because um, today's going to be a very interesting tutorial. Um, it's not going to be as technical, but rather it's going to be um, very exploratory in its nature. And we're going to be talking about um, the tools that you use when you trade the forex market. And uh, some of you may be already aware of the tools that we use, the software that we use, some may not. So we'll definitely cover off the software and the kind of uh, programs that you use inside your computer. But also I would really like to show you uh, how I've set up my workplace. Uh, it took me several years to, um, exper of experimentation and like ideas to come up with uh, the exact you know, monitors I use, how I set up my uh, desk, what other things I use in, in my actual physical surrounding environment. And I think that, um, I hope that what I've come up with can give you some great ideas on how you can set up your workplace. Uh, because um, ultimately the environment that we work in uh, really matters for us as Forex traders. So let's jump straight into it. All right, back behind the computer. And today we're talking about the simple tools I use to profit from Forex trading. Exciting tutorial ahead. Okay, game plan. We will talk about the software tools and we will talk about the hardware tools. So this is probably gonna be a unique thing in the history of Forex tutorials. I'm actually going to show you my setup, which is gonna be super exciting. Uh, quick refresher, why are we doing this? Well, there's an incredible opportunity for you as a Forex trader to generate consistent profits from the foreign exchange market. And I underline here consistent profits because that is the key to success. You can't just win and lose here and there randomly and sporadically. The profits have to be consistent. And the opportunity is to earn additional income or even replace your nine to five job, gain financial freedom and independence, become location independent and have an awesome lifestyle. So those are the things that we are aiming for in the tutorials here at Forex Boat. And as you know, guys, everything I'm sharing with you, I've done. And I can't stress this enough because I just don't like when people get out here and start saying, um, this is what you could do, this is what you could try, you could, you could do this, you could do that, when they themselves haven't been through this journey, when um, you know they don't know how it feels to be learning all of this from scratch. And everything I'm sharing here, I've done 100%, no, no exceptions. Everything I've been through, I've done the mistakes, I've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly. I know exactly how it feels to be in your shoes. And that's why I'm here. That's why I want to share my knowledge and experience with you and help you get to your goal faster, help you get there as quickly as possible and um, you know, avoid all of those mistakes and uh, that I made and take the shortcuts that I didn't take and shorten your learn curve in general. And so I succeeded and you can do it too. So today we're talking about tools. There's nothing to be scared. I promise there'll be a few software tools, a few hardware tools. And um, the key is that I do not want you to get overwhelmed by technology. It really isn't that difficult. Like the main program that's going to be used in trading um, for years to come is MetaTrader 4. And it's very simple to get uh, the hang of it. And once you've done that, you're pretty much good to go. But there'll be a few more other things that I'll suggest. And they're just from my experience, things that kind of can shorten your learning curve and get you there faster. And uh, kind of, you know, technology creates shortcuts in many ways, especially when it comes to learning or um, practicing or developing trading systems and stuff like that. So I want to show you my tools. But um, bear in mind, this is not a, uh, like, 100% can't be changed setup or list of tools. This is what I have learned from my experience. If you have other ideas, feel free to you know explore, maybe uh, throw, throw them in the comments, send me an email uh, to discuss and stuff like that. Post them up on our forum, we can talk about them. This is just the stuff that I've seen and I think that will you know benefit you. So let's have a look at it. To start off with, what software do I use? Well, of course it's MetaTrader 4. Um, probably from what I've seen about maybe 80%, if not 90% of brokers use MetaTrader 4. It's a very, very popular platform. So that's your number one go-to platform. You need to learn it. It's very simple to use. You can master it in less than two days. Maybe if you spend enough time 
you can know what to click and what to do within a day you'll be very very good uh, in MetaTrader 4 and from there everything builds on so MetaTrader 4 you can you don't have to go to a specific website there is a website for MetaTrader 4 you can download it from MetaQuotes website and I'll put that um, in the links uh, which you, in the file with links which you can download under this video and uh, but also any broker you go to you could get MetaTrader 4 and you can open a free demo account with virtually any broker so uh, if you're looking for a broker go to forexboat.com slash brokers there's a list of brokers that I recommend there. Um, you can download MetaTrader 4 from one of those brokers and that'll save you time uh, when you decide to open a real account. You already have that broker's terminal. Otherwise, any broker is a good broker and maybe check out the MetaTrader 4 website if you want to. And um, next, next software that I would recommend is Forex Tester. It is perfect for manual backtesting. So not many people uh, use the software and when I started I didn't know about Forex Tester now they actually have Forex Tester too um, back then they did have Forex Tester but I kind of ignored it and um, I shouldn't have it is so much easier to test your strategies it kind of it's like it's like a jetpack or a rocket you get on this on this rocket and your learn and you just shoot through your learning curve it fast forwards your whole learning experience so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring up um, uh, Forex Tester right now and to show you what I mean it's, it's so you can actually visually see what we're talking about. So here's Me Forex Tester and for those of you who've already seen MetaTrader 4, it might look very familiar. It's not MetaTrader 4, it's Forex Tester. So here you can just click Start Test and what it'll do is it will uh, generate, like you'll use historical data to create a chart but instead of doing it real time, it will do it um, in a fast forward mode. So here you can see this is a 15 minute chart of the Australian dollar, um, American dollar currency pair. And you can see these are 15 minute bars, but they're being created by the second. So it's actually fast forwarding everything. And here, if you want to open an order, you just click here, like say you need to click F2 and you can open an order. What I love about for accessories, you can select where you want to put your stop loss like that. And then I want to say buy here. And so I buy and then I'm like, okay, you can see the buy order here. You can, everything as if it's real MetaTrader 4. It's like a simulation of MetaTrader 4 tra trading. So here I want to close my position. Done. And here you can already see I made $14. So I had 10000 This is all non-real money, of course. I had $10,000 and I made $14 within those 15-minute time frame bars. And this is how you can practice your trading without having to wait. So if you want to speed up, if you want to slow it down, you can slow it down. If you want to speed it up, you can speed it up. So you see these are 15 minute time frame bars and they're appearing so quickly, right? It's incredible. You can, um, if you want, you can add indicators just like in MetaTrader 4, add indicators. So let's maybe add a uh, moving average, the most basic one, where is it? Moving average and I don't know, let's, let's do a period of uh, 50. So there's your moving average. So the price is below the moving average. Maybe you want to sell here. So um, where's the button sell? So you, you see I sold an order and then I remember that I forgot a stop loss so I can add a stop loss. Like everything, it's very, very simple to tra test out your, your trading strategies and understand how it would feel in real life trading. But at the same time, you don't have to go through the pain of waiting for these bars to appear and sitting there you know, twiddling your thumbs. Also, you, you don't have to do it just on the 15 minute time frame. See there, I close another position. Now I've made $43. There's the account history. You can just like in MetaTrader 4. Um, you don't have to do just the, med, uh, the 15 minute time frame. You're not limited to that. You can do any time frame. So here you can choose one hourly time frame, four hourly time frame, and it'll happen just as fast. So if you're going to test your strategy on demo, which you still should do after Forex tester, but if you're going to test it on demo, it's going to like testing an hourly time frame um, strategy will take you a few weeks to test properly. Here you can do it within a day. Um, and the good news is that Forex tester actually comes with uh, a trial version. So you can download Forex tester today um, and install it 
and you don't have to pay anything. You and it's not it's not like limited by time. It's limited by functionality. So you can the the limitations are you can only test not more than a month of historical data in a row. You can only test uh, practice for one hour, and then you have to restart, and you can't save your results. So you, you can't keep a record of how well or how much better you're getting. And but who cares, right? So you just download, installed, and practice. If you you know my, that might be enough for you. Just practice uh, for an hour and then start another test, start another test, and maybe one uh, one month of historical data will also be enough for you. Um, if it isn't, and if you see that this is working for you, then maybe you can purchase it from these guys. But otherwise, uh, it's, it's, it's a really good start just to download it and uh, play around with the trial version. Highly recommend. It will significantly reduce the time that you spend on uh, training. And plus, it will give you that much more confidence when you do move on to a demo account and to a real account because you virtually would have gone through hundreds, hundreds and thousands of scenarios uh, on the Forex market, um, which you can't otherwise do just going through the demo account. Okay, so that's um, Forex Tester. Make sure you t check it out. I've got a link here. Um, and uh, I will also put those links into the... Uh, PDF which you can download just under this tutorial. So what other software do you use? So as, as you know, I'm very into programming and uh, creating Forex robots. So I use MQL4, which comes pre-packaged with MetaTrader 4. Also, I used Burst EA Review for enhanced backtesting. I won't go into detail on that, but if you are a coder, if you're a programmer uh, and you're looking to um, get into Forex, this is one of those go-to things that you might want to consider. There'll be a link in this uh, same PDF um, just under this video, and that link will actually describe exactly what BERT's uh, EA, sorry, not BERT's EA review, that's the website. The tool is called uh, TIG Data Suite. TIG Data Suite. So um, yeah, check it out if you are serious about getting into coding on the Forex market. What else do I use? Um, Ducas Copy. So, uh, Ducas Copy is a Swiss bank. Uh, they are not a broker. They are an actual bank in Switzerland. Very, very reputable bank. Um, a lot of uh, celebrities who you know uh, dabble in the forex market they use Ducas Copy. Um, you do need a lot of money to open an account with them. So with Ducas Copy Switzerland, you need at least five thousand dollars to open an account. Um, it used to be, I think, even ten thousand dollars, but last time I checked, it was five. And they they have a sister or a, a daughter company called Ducas Copy Europe, where you can open an account for less, for like a hundred uh, with a hundred dollars or two starting balance or two hundred dollars starting balance. I'll put a link also in that um, uh, file in the PDF. But what makes Ducas Copy different is, well, first of all, they're not a they're not a, a broker; they're a bank. Uh, so they are already part of that Forex marketplace. They don't need to uh, create an alliance with a bank, which kind of drives their um, fees down and so on. But uh, And also they're like kind of, um, they're already in the market. So that's like one middleman less. And also Ducas Copy don't use MetaTrader 4. So if you're not a fan of MetaTrader 4 for whatever reason, um, you can check out Ducas Copy. That's your next go-to option. They have uh, their own proprietary trading platform. Uh, also, on the right here, you see JForex Visual. Uh, and a cool thing that they have, which other brokers don't have, is a visual strategy builder. So if you want to, if you're a fan of Forex robots and automating your trading systems, or you might become a fan of that later on, but you don't really want to learn how to code, um, which, you know, which isn't that hard, but fair enough. Some people don't want to learn how to code. Uh, well, Ducas Copy have this visual strategy builder thing where you can actually build your strategy using like drag and drop boxes, um, kind of set the rules for your training strategy. And then uh, the visual strategy builder will actually uh, create the Forex robot for you. Uh, very, very cool uh, idea, very cool feature. Lots of traders use it. So I'll put the link into the PDF and uh, check it out. It's There's a good video that describes how it works. It's just worth having a look at. So you know that further down the track you have this option if you decide um, you know to look for something like that um, also speaking of Ducas Copy just quickly they have a proprietary platform which I've talked about uh, if you want to uh, program very complicated um, 
algorithmic trading system, I, I recommend du uh, Ducas Copy. They have a, a few little advantages over MetaTrader for, uh, for very complex programming, and you can also use their API to um, attach Eclipse on NetBeans. Uh, but that was just a quick side note for coders. We won't go into detail on that. Um, next, what software do I use? Speaking of, what software do I not use? I don't use MetaTrader 5. A lot of traders ask me, oh, well, why are we downloading MetaTrader 4 if there's a new version, MetaTrader 5? Well, the thing is, MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5 is not an upgrade from MetaTrader 4. They're completely two separate programs. They're developed by the same company, MetaQuotes, um, but MetaTrader 5 is kind of... Um, was created back in 2009, get this, in 2009 they created this platform with the hope that everybody would jump from MetaTrader 4 to MetaTrader 5, but number one, traders refused to do that because of limitations that MetaTrader 5 imposed on trading, and then brokers refused to uh, convert. They, a lot of brokers offer MetaTrader 5, but they will, you will always see that they still offer MetaTrader 4 because uh, from my estimates, less than 10% of traders even consider using MetaTrader 5. Why? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Well, one of them is that in MetaTrader 5, uh, MetaQuotes decided to kind of abide by the regulations imposed um, uh, on American traders. And, um, you know, when you can't hedge positions, so you can't have an open uh, euro dollar buy and a sell at the same time, they will always kind of cancel each other out. Automatic in MetaTrader 4 you can in MetaTrader 5 they will it'll cancel each other out automatically so it's kind of a different approach to trading it's uh, it reminds uh, me more about more the uh, futures market and that that kind of style of trading and a lot of traders couldn't just get used to it and uh, brokers decided not to go ahead with it there are other reasons why MetaTrader 5 never picked up uh, but we won't talk about those just remember that MetaTrader 4 is your go-to platform. Um, next, uh, virtual private server. So if you want to have your terminals running air anywhere at any time and access them from anywhere in the world, you need a virtual private server. So I recommend usually photo on web VPS, but recently uh, it's come like a few traders have highlighted to me that Amazon Web Services uh, is actually, uh, has gotten you know, pretty good and you can also host uh, your um, MetaTrader 4 platforms there. So I'm currently testing Amazon Web Services. It's 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 actually a pretty cool platform and the best part about it is it's free, whereas for VPS you have to pay. Um, so I will be adding Amazon Web Services to my review of virtual private servers very soon and you can check them out at this link. Um, enough said about that. If you want to know why you need a virtual private server, um, just jump on that link and I have a, a great explanation of why you need one. Okay, uh, what else? Um, an important one, important one for everybody, um, Forex calendar. So you need a foreign exchange calendar to know when the news is coming out uh, and which news is affecting your currency pairs and so on. Grade one is on Forex factory. This is what it looks like. Um, I'll put the link into the PDF, but you can see it up there. Um, what it does is basically it tells you all the news for the week and then you can write it down on your own calendar or just somehow keep track of it. And um, my advice is to stay away from the market when a, a significant uh, elements of news are coming out because uh, the volatility can easily kill all your positions. And it's very hard uh, to trade because there's not enough liquidity and blah, 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 blah. So just, just don't, uh, my advice or what I do is I stay away from trading when I know there's news on the market. Forex factory, calendar, is the best calendar and it will help you keep track of these things. Okay, so what are we going, where are we going next? Oh, what hardware do I use? So, and this is the part where we talk about um, the monitors, the computers, the stands and so on. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to throw in a video of uh, me showing you around my home office and then we'll get back to the tutorial, enjoy. All right, boys and girls, welcome to my humble office and let's have a look at this Forex trading setup. And voila, here it is, my beautiful three monitor trading setup, which I have wanted for so, so long. And finally last year for my birthday, I bought it for myself and it has been a great purchase. So in the front here, we've got three monitors. All of these are assets. I'll put the model into the uh, presentations, uh, VN something. 
And the, the main point about these monitors is that uh, the bezel is very thin. So here you can see that it's just a few, just maybe a centimeter or two, and it looks like the monitors are actually connected. Whereas if you got different monitors, then the bezel would be quite thick and it would look, it would look uh, not as good as, as this does. And now behind, you can see the beautiful, most important part of the collection, which is this Ergotech stand. The stand is holding these three monitors and it is a very heavy duty stand, extremely sturdy and powerful. So if I just shake it here, you can see how the whole thing is moving. I mean, like the monitors are shaking, but the Ergotech stand is not moving at all. It is very heavy. It is over 16 kilos. And fun fact, it actually cost me more to ship it to Australia from the US than the stand cost itself. So it was, as you can imagine, it was quite an expensive purchase for me, but it was well worth um, the money spent. Much better than getting one of those flimsy ones that I uh, probably could have purchased here. So a couple of things about the stand. You can easily swivel the monitors if you want. So here you can see uh, I just did that. I rarely do that, but in case you do need to, you can. And so maybe you could connect them like this if you wanted to and it'd be like uh, very flat or you can swivel it, swivel it back very easily as well. Um, what else? So if you do purchase an Ergotech stand, they, they also make um, stands for two monitors. But in any case, make sure you get one which has this flat base at the bottom because some, um, they, create, they make some stands that just clip onto the back of your desk, like kind of screw on. And I don't think they're as sturdy or as reliable because this just looks better. And plus it's so thin that you can, like I keep my keyboard on top of it, I don't even notice it. That's my bunny over there, by the way, friend of mine. Um, and also, the good thing that you will find about Ergotech is that all of their products, all of their stands come with a 100% lifetime guarantee. They are so confident in their product that it's not just like a 20 year warranty or even, you know, or even a 40 year warranty. It's a lifetime warranty for this product and uh, it is definitely worth it. So this is what it looks like from the behind. Um, make sure you get the one that stands on your desk. Okay, what else? Uh, so there, down there, I've got my computer. We won't talk about it much now. I'll put all the description in the video, in the um, tutorial today. And what else do we have here? So this is how my setup looks. Um, so this is an, a typical setup for a trader uh, where you have like a few charts. You just open several MetaTrader 4s. And you, as you can see, like all of this is very adjustable. I can uh, drag uh, my MetaTrader 4 here. I can drag it here. All the windows are like the monitors are connected, so you can basically put anything anywhere. Uh, for me, the setup looks a bit different normally. So normally, I would have this window here, and I'll show you what it is in a second. Um, if I come a bit closer, you'll probably be able to see. This is actually code. So as you know, I am a big fan of algorithmic trading, and I create robots and indicators to trade the forex market. And so most of the time, um, I'm actually coding. So I'm not rarely trading like by hand uh, these days, I just, most of the time I just code and I need these uh, charts on the right and on the left to kind of check how my system's going. So here I've got the MetaTrader 4 strategy tester open and I can, um, this one's the one, the one I was using. So here you can, I can uh, choose my expert advisor and test it and then keep coding. So for me, coding is in the, in the center of everything. Um, and to be frank, I don't really need um, three monitors. Like I could go away, get away with two. So uh, this one I definitely need for my code. This one I definitely need to test my expert advisors and so on. Maybe I'll have some reference code here or something else. Uh, but uh, sometimes I would have like uh, YouTube or some music on or like say I could have my music on here and then um, I could have another terminal here if I wanted to because I don't need that much space. So basically you can break it up into not just three but maybe six segments or five at least if you want to. You can fit a lot of stuff on three monitors. Um, so that's that. The descriptions of exactly what um, uh, monitors I use and um, the stand and everything else will be in the tutorial. Um, down here I've got um, a keyboard. It's a dust keyboard if you're wondering. As you can see, it doesn't have any text. Uh, very good to learn uh, fast typing. So, you know, blind typing when you don't look at what uh, you're typing, which is good. 
Uh, the mouse I've been using this model forever. You guys are probably not that interested in keyboard and mouse anyway. Um, what else? So apart from the monitor, the monitor is the stand and the computer, which we'll discuss. Uh, what else do I have? Um, an important part I find for traders is uh, a writing board. So I used to have like a whiteboard all the time, which I would uh, just keep in my room. But this in this apartment, I'm quite lucky I got this balcony door. So as you can see back over there behind, it's Brisbane City, those shiny lights over there. Um, and uh, the whiteboard is very good for setting your goals, keeping track of things. So right there, I've got like the Kelly Criterion, I've got the, some man money management uh, stuff there. I've got some formulas which I use, like in terms of lots, money management, risk, and stuff like that. So very good and uh, good to uh, keep it right in front of you. Um, and here I've got a calendar. So I printed out this calendar for myself because in Australia, there's that start on Monday. It was important for me to have one that starts on Monday. And I thought, well, if I'm gonna print one, I might as well make it massive. And this is like A0 a paper, and there's two months on each one. Good to keep track of like um, public holidays, and especially non-farm and unemployment, to kind of remind yourself when those are coming out uh, because they affect your trading. And also if like you're re-optimizing trading systems and so on, if you're algorithmic trading, then that might be helpful. So that's pretty much it. Um, shoot me any questions if you have, otherwise we'll discuss the rest of it in. Uh... All right, back at it. Hope you enjoyed that video. That was my humble home office, as I said. And here in front of me or in front of you, um, you can see the a photo, a photo of my uh, computer. This is uh, in bro bright daylight. Uh, this is uh, what it looks like from the back. So I've got that Ergotech stand, I've got the Asus monitors, and I've got my Lenovo um, ThinkPad at the bottom there. So let's talk about these things individually. Uh, the monitors, they are Asus VN247, $167 each. Um, if you want a direct link, forexpo.com slash Asus. Um, the beauty about these monitors is that the bezel is very, very thin. And... Um, that makes the monitors look like they are all uh, com like completely connected to each other. Um, okay, so I, it took me a while to find out exactly which monitor, and uh, this one is by far the best one. Best um, kind of uh, quality for price ratio, and it just just good all around. Um, next, uh, the pearl of the collection, uh, the Ergotech stand. So $184.23. Um, there's the link, forexbo.com slash ergo3. Um, I probably should say uh, these links are affiliate links. So if you do buy, I will get some sort of commission from uh, Amazon for your purchase. And uh, thank you very much if you do choose through to buy through my link. Um, otherwise, you know, you can always just search Ergotech stand uh, three monitors and um, uh, look for that one there. So at the bottom, you can see that it does have that flat stand. Uh, important to, uh, when you do look for the stand, make sure it has the flat surface. I didn't, I wasn't really a big fan of the one that clips onto your desk because it kind of like the monitors are very heavy and uh, if your desk doesn't hold, you know, it might slip off or somehow just damage your desk. I would probably not go with that one. This is the one I use and I recommend that one. Next is the Ergotech Stand 2. If you do not want three monitors, uh, get uh, one that holds two. Much cheaper, $78.42, uh, forexbo.com slash ergo2. Um, what, what are the benefits? Well, you get twice as much uh, real estate for all your forex charts and everything. And probably, as I mentioned in the video of my home office, probably you'll be fine with two stands because um, three is kind of like a bit, a lot it's it, it's a cool thing to have it's uh, you know it feels awesome but uh, realistically speaking uh, you can easily get away with two and have as your trading will be as efficient as with three uh, stands a word of advice is the screws on the ergotech stand that's probably the only kind of um, uh, I wouldn't say weak point but I would say um, just it could, it could have been a bit longer. So what what I did, and I found this recommendation somewhere on YouTube that um, once you buy them, you you find the screws that actually screw into your monitor from the back. 
uh, and you just go and buy the same ones at your local hardware store, but a bit longer because maybe it's got something to do with these monitors because the monitors actually allow for a longer screw and it kind of feels more safer when you have that longer screw. So just pro probably check them, check that out at your hardware store. It won't cost you much, like $4 or something, but it's definitely worth it. Um, what else? You need a... Um, uh, video card. You need a video card to support three monitors. So if you're doing the two monitor stand, probably your computer is already capable of doing two monitors, but three monitors you need a good video card. This is the best one I found. $64. You can pick it up. Um, very uh, like efficient. Doesn't has a lot of um, power, processing power, and it allows you to kind of um, facilitates all of your charts and no lagging, no delays, no overheating, no problems. Very good one. And also the best part about it is it also fits into um, the Lenovo ThinkPad. So thin computers, small computers like the one we're going to look at just now, it fits in there very well. So this is if you are going that um, <laughs> all-in approach when you're buying the, the full Monty of three monitors with the Ergotech 3 stand, yeah, then you probably need this video card. Otherwise, um, for two monitors, you don't need that. Um, the hardware I use, the Lenovo Think Center, five hundred dollars. Um, uh, yes. Uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. I had uh, I had a picture of a laptop. So if we go back here, originally I had a picture of a laptop. Uh, what I wanted to say here was uh, trading with a laptop is completely fine. If you have a laptop and you, you want to trade off the laptop, probably, in fact, um, you know, that's a good way to start and that's a good way to uh, get, get into trading. Um, so the rest of this stuff is kind of when you want to go more pro, when you want to set up a home office, when you, uh, you want to be, you know, like completely submerged in this experience. Uh, for but for start a laptop is is a great solution maybe you can even hook up an extra monitor to your laptop the modern laptops allow you to do that very easily um, it will be a bit uncomfortable uh, i i guess but uh, you know it's it's a good start so but if you are going a bit more pro than all these things including the lenovo think center which is good um it's cheap well i wouldn't say too cheap but it's it's a good home office computer 500 dollars, and you can plug that uh, video card into it if you do buy the lenovo make sure you pick up some extra ram because um the one i've got in the link it only comes with four gigs of ram you want to have at least eight so two of these um ram sets uh for uh or four four gig gigabytes each so that's the stuff i use once again as i mentioned um, you probably, there's a good chance that you will be happy with your laptop, uh, and you want to, want to continue trading that way. Go ahead, go for it. Uh, just maybe refer back to this video. If you ever do decide that you want to move on and uh, get the full Monty, like I said, okay. Um, that was the hardware. And so what you'll find below is a one sheet PDF, which you can download. It has all the links and rundown. Uh, once again, a lot of those links are affiliate links. Um, I do appreciate very much if you're going to um, use them to do your shopping. Um, uh, that'd be, you know, great, great coffee money for me or something like that. And also, it's uh, it's completely free for you. Um, you, know, you can uh, download it, uh, and that's all the stuff I use that I have discovered through my experience on the foreign exchange market. Hopefully, it will help you shave down on the learning curve. Um, Probably the most important thing out of all of them is that um, Forex, uh, Forex tester, because that is one thing that will skyrocket, um, you know, give you a lot of speed and traction. And kind of also it's important because it helps you maintain that interest. At the start, it's very easy to lose interest. But if you can actually sit down in one evening, uh, do testing, uh, manual testing that you you know, it would have taken you a week or a month or, you know, two months to do. If you can do that so quickly, you'll see how interesting it is. So definitely check out Forex Tester. It comes with a trial period. And um, to finish off, share this video with traders you know. Leave a comment, a question. Keep an eye out to your inbox because there's more coming. Two more tutorials to go. We are so close to finishing this uh, series of uh, free training. Um, so we've got two more to go. They're coming very soon in your direction. Um, and 
Before you go, please, please, please have a look around this page. Somewhere you will see these social share icons. Make sure you click one and just one. Don't, I'm not even asking for two. Just, <laughs> just click one and share this video with your friends or somebody who you think uh, can benefit from these tools and can, that can help them in their trading. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial. Until then, happy trading.